First, we're going to slot the continuous rotation SG90 servos into the chassis, and snap the cab on to secure them in place. Mark which servo wire is which, and cut the servo wires to length. Split the signal wires from the power wires, and route the signals into the cab. Our scout will use a USB charger for the battery, and a voltage booster to convert the battery output to 5 volts. We'll add a battery connector to the charging circuit, and connect the battery's output to the voltage booster's input, using a switch between them so we can turn off the scout. Next, stick the circuits in the chassis using double-sided tape. Make sure to line up the micro-USB connector with the hole in the back. The switch can be mounted with a small dab of superglue. The next part is tricky. You'll have to solder both servos in parallel to the output pads of the voltage booster. Hopefully you saved some extra servo wire. Again, solder to the output of the voltage booster in parallel with the servos. We'll route this up to the cab to power the ESP32. Next, prep the LED lights. I'm using the front of the cab to hold them while soldering. Add a 47 ohm resistor to each LED and attach power leads. Unsolder the ESP32's flashlight LED and use these pads to power the headlights. Solder power to the 5 volt pad, followed by ground, left servo, and right servo. Use some thin double sided tape to mount the camera. The idler wheels use M4 by 20 millimeter bolts. For best operation, use a washer and don't fully tighten the screw. The idler rail should snap firmly into place over the chassis. We'll add the large idlers, same as the small idlers. The doors of the cab are also a snap fit, so they should click firmly into place. Optionally, we can add a bit of color using decorative plating. I use a thin super glue to stick them to the cab. Finally, we can add our tracks and drive wheels. The drive wheels are spline for an SG90 servo, and should be secured with the servo's included screw.